I recommend from someone who had a hard time getting consistent with carnivore. What worked for me was... Hey, what's shaking, bacon? My name is Bruno Panucci. I hope you're doing well. So uh, this is my first video coming back in the new year. So I've been doing strict carnivore now for about three years straight. Uh, this is a, probably the closest we're going to get to my carnivorsary because I forget the exact day that I became 100% strict carnivore. I don't count the few years before that I was doing carnivore because I was uh, inconsistent with it. I was strict and then I was off it, I was on it, I was off it, I was on it, I was off it. And a lot of people struggle with that. And I want to help all of you that are starting carnivore or trying to give it another shot early in this year, starting on January during World Carnivore Month. And I know one of the things that held me back for a long time was trying to intermittent fast while I was starting carnivore. And it's something that is not a good thing to try, in my opinion, when you're starting carnivore. I think that's something that's a little better if you're a little more seasoned with carnivore, say six months and up. If you've been doing carnivore for a while and you're already fat adapted and you don't deal with any cravings of any kind for anything off of a carnivore diet, at that point, after it's been roughly five, three to six months, I recommend six months. I think that's a good time to start trying some actual intermittent fasting or extended fasts. But when you're trying that, as you're starting carnivore, especially World Carnivore Month, you're setting yourself up for a bit of a disaster and it's gonna make it more difficult for you. Why make it more difficult than it needs to be? Stay satiated, stay comfortably full on the food you can eat when you're doing such a drastic change to your diet. So when you're doing this World Carnivore Month, don't be a hero. Don't try and do all this all at once with all this intermittent fasting and cutting out carbohydrates and going through sugar withdrawal and possibly not eating enough. Um, stay full on what you're allowed to eat and comfortably full. Um, you'll find your body will tell you when to stop eating. Worry about getting more in tune with your hunger signals than you are about intermittent fasting. I just finished a lot of intermittent fasting lately. Now, intermittent fasting doesn't agree with me in a lot of ways. I have hypothyroidism, and you'll notice if you go back and watch most of my older videos, I have a bit of a hoarse throat right now. I feel 100%. It's not a cold. It's a symptom of hypothyroidism. I have hypothyroidism. And fasting doesn't work well if you have hypothyroidism. But even though it was putting a strain on my thyroid, and I'll get into it with some more detail in a future video, I was doing it to try and manage my insulin. And it was good because I wasn't nearly as bloated. I found that I leaned out easily a couple inches in my waist, though I only lost a few pounds doing it. Um, I typically put on weight when I go higher fat uh, carnivore for a short window of time. I've done it twice in the past and twice I put on weight. The first time I did it, I put on 23 pounds, I think, or 27 pounds in a very short window of time. And I was getting an appropriate amount of calories in the day. And the second time I did it, I put on 50 pounds. Yeah, and but it was worth it for me because it really helped my adrenal gland and my thyroid. So I'm happy with the results I got because when that weight came off, it came off in one month even though over a period of three months, even though I was working out and doing lots of walking, I still put on all that weight because I still have high fasting insulin. So after I finished that three month challenge, I ended up going back into fasting, doing some extended fasts, some short fasts, some dry fasts, all water, lots of water fasts. And though it helped, I think, to manage my insulin and I de-bloated, the problem was it strained my thyroid and it strained my adrenal gland and I wasn't feeling good. And one by one, my symptoms got worse and worse over the months that I wasn't getting all the benefits I typically get from fasting for any window of time, whether it was 12 hours or 24 hours or three days. Um, normally I feel amazing, but uh, I had too much brain fog. My voice started to go, my eyes got really puffy, my bloating was gone. I felt great that way. Um, but I do this carnivore way of eating 
not for weight loss. I've always said weight loss is the side effect of my body healing. So even though I've been strict carnivore for all this time, I've had high fasting insulin all this time. Now that's just going down uh, in a more stubborn way, but everything else has been healing slowly and I've lost a lot of weight. So I haven't cheated off a carnivore diet in three years now. It's been three consistent years of not a lick, taste, or bite of anything off a carnivore diet. So I want you to keep in mind, I got here by keeping myself satiated, keeping myself comfortably full on the foods I can eat. And once you get good at that, then start playing around with different versions of carnivore. For now, when you're starting carnivore or you're trying to get better at carnivore, just consistent at carnivore, just stay full, comfortably full. You don't have to stuff yourself. But if stuffing yourself is the option as opposed to starving yourself, I would sooner stuff myself than starve myself. But the thing is, when you're eating just meat, you can't eat to the point, I found anyway, and I was a binge eater, and I still am with bacon and certain foods, but I found you can only eat to the point where you just can't eat anymore and you don't get stuffed on a carnivore diet. You just get comfortably full. And for me, I stopped with the intermittent fasting because it was definitely not agreeing with me. And I ultimately do this way of eating to feel good. The weight loss is the side effect. So even though I'm going back to high fat and I'm probably gonna start putting on weight, I can already feel my shirts are a little tighter and if you look back a couple of videos from before now, um, I looked more tired, or at least that's what everyone was commenting on. People were saying like both family, friends and people online were like, you're looking great, you're looking leaner, but you look more tired. Um, only in the last week since I've been doing high fat and I've tweaked my medication, I've actually gone on some of my medication for hypothyroidism, I feel good. I feel good just in the last week, my energy's back. So one of the things that's made it tough for me to shoot my videos is I've been sleeping a lot and my energy has been zapped and alternate day fasting and extended fast made that worse for me on top of the fact that I was completely off of my thyroid medication. Usually that takes about a month before that starts kicking in and within a few days of being high fat and going back on my medication, I feel dramatically better. So the horse throat will hopefully go away sometime soon and the important thing is you stick with a carnivore diet. If you're gonna do it, do it. Let your yes mean yes. Give it the month and don't give yourself reasons to go off of a carnivore diet. Because guaranteed when you're hungry and you're trying to be consistent on a carnivore diet and you're not fat adapted and you haven't been 100% strict, carbs are still gonna call for you and they're gonna want you and they're gonna tempt you and you're gonna go towards maybe two weeks in, maybe three days in, maybe by the end of the month and you're gonna go for that French fries or whatever food is your weakness at that time on the day where you're just a little dehydrated, you're a little hungry, maybe you didn't sleep well the night before and if you find you're not sleeping well, there's a good chance you're not eating enough or getting enough fat. So pay attention to these things. I don't mind in the healing process if I put on some weight temporarily and then lose it really quick because that seems to be the way, as I mentioned, high fat goes for me. Anyway, the important goal is you're trying World Carnivore Month and uh, for those of you who haven't been consistent with it or who are trying it for the first time, you're gonna get a lot of advice from a lot of different people. I recommend from someone who had a hard time getting consistent with carnivore, what worked for me was staying full on the foods you're able to eat, you're allowed to eat. Don't tackle too much at once. Um, that's people's perfect recipe for disaster. The New Year's comes and they change their lifestyle too drastically and they try and tackle too much at once and it's like spitting plates and on poles and you're spitting this plate and you're spitting this plate and you're, and you're trying to keep them all going. Well, you take on too much at once and they're all gonna crash. So just focus on spitting one plate, your carnivore plate. Keep that going, keep that going, keep it going. When it gets too slow, keep it going, get the momentum going again. And by slow, I mean you start getting hungry, you start losing your motivation, just stay satiated on the food you can eat. Try and stay away from processed foods, try and stay away from dairy. But if you find having some cheese as a snack with your food versus a meal with your food is the way to go, try that. I'm gonna make an upcoming video about why 
you might want to find a way of keeping cheese in your diet if it's really that important to you. Though it'll stall your weight loss progress, if it helps keep you on a carnivore diet in January, then do it. But try and keep in mind that there's carbohydrates in cheese. Try and keep in mind that there's sometimes uh, sugar in cheese, sometimes. Try and keep in mind that it can be addictive and people will have a hard time with their portion sizes when it comes to dairy. So if it's helping you stick with carnivore, by all means. But for the most part, try and cut it out too. Like I said, it's gonna be hard enough to stick with regular carnivore. Don't try and put too much on your plate, so to speak, all right? Thanks a lot and take care. I hope you're all doing well.